Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the video. So I want to talk to you guys about, you know, when the year 2022. Gaming is a very popular thing ever since, what, maybe 10 years ago it really blew up. And now big companies are putting a lot of, a lot of money, millions of dollars in video game development. Triple A games, but you know how it is. Games have microtransactions and all that, but that's not what we're gonna talk about. I want to talk to you guys about mobile games, you know, because a lot of companies have been investing a lot of money in mobile games, and the reason they do it is because it's very profitable. Like everybody has a phone. Everybody has a phone. Everybody has at least one mobile game you know and crazy enough I think before the mobile game thing really exploded it, it all started to me at least I don't know if this is a fact but it to me it all started with the Facebook game the Facebook game Farmville or Farm Simile whatever Farmville I think it was called I never really got into it because I was a uh, like a, a, a gamer, I play on, on console and PC. You know, I used to be a console player and PC for MMOs. So I never really got into it, but the whole world, a lot of a lot of people really got into it. And they used to, and, and to be honest, I think there was microtransactions there. That was one of the first games with microtransactions. Uh... Not loot boxes, but microtransactions, like, they would um, purposely put limiting factors, like time. You have to wait 20 hours, and you would buy something that would reduce the time, so it would just be instant, or, or 10 hours less, or something like that. So that's how it all started, and that's not, like, loot boxes. Loot boxes, I blame Overwatch for loot boxes. I truly do. Overwatch invented or came up with it, popularized it. He, uh, Overwatch really made it popular. The loot boxes. But that's a whole nother system. Surprise mechanics, they say. <laughs> the whole point is that uh, big, big companies have invested a lot of money in developing games for your phone. Mobile games. And there's gamers like old school gamers uh, don't really fall into that I think in my opinion I don't think old school gamers tried I mean we all tried mobile game at some point but there's a difference and I'll tell you what those differences are and why old school gamers don't play mobile games and as a matter of fact the mobile game companies might actually learn something very valuable from this video you know and may maybe this video will change the game <laughs> but the point is the reason people like me like old school gamers don't play mobile games is because mobile games is not to to me is not really a game it's like you're going to a buddy's house and you play on their console with their data, you know, and they or they're playing a game and they just pass you the remote and you get to play for a little bit one stage and that's it. You're not really invested. It's more like you you don't have no ownership over it. You feel no attachment, and that's how mobile games feel to me. And I'm sure a lot of gamers, true gamers, feel the same way too. You know, because you don't have the game. You don't have the actual tangible game in your hand. It's not a disc. You can't install it. There's no memory. You know, memory, your data is not on a, on a, on a USB anything. You, your data is in their system. Their game is in their thing. And you don't really own nothing. If they decide to close and move on, that's it. And and there's and I cannot be be invested <laughs> in a game that I don't feel that is tangible. 
you know it's like MMORPGs when we play MMORPGs we want a game where we could live in we want a game where we be invested where we'll be there and dedicate every day of our life and you know we like achievements PlayStation has achievements Xbox has achievements uh, Steam has achievements we like achievements we like to brag and show off how much achievements we you know when you fight uh when you fight a certain enemy in a game like Dark Souls or Elden Ring you want to show off that you did that that you got that experience that you managed to do that without any armor you know you want that mobile games don't really have nothing you know you just buy stuff so it's meaningless it's really meaningless you get you click 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 everything have you ever played call of duty mobile It's just you click and it kills there's no skill there's nothing really to it you know you click again and you get a reward and and then if you want better rewards you might use the microtransactions you buy and it, no, it's more like a time waster that's what it is mobile games feel like time wasting it's like the old uh, back in the day we used to play flash games you know the tower defenders and 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 there was a game called super mall and, and like the flash games you used to go on the PC, you didn't know, you were bored, you, you know, you had to do some homework or whatever, and you, you open the Flash game tab, and you play the Flash games, you know? And you, you're not really investing anything, you're just wasting time, having fun, you reach the end, you close the page, that's it, your data wasn't saved, all your progress was gone, you just had fun, past the time. And that's why I cannot be invested in mobile games. It has an empty feeling to it. And I don't like that empty feeling. I like something tangible. I like achievements. You know, like I was saying, like MMORPGers, like, the, we like to find a world that is the ultimate world. We want to look badass. We want to look badass. We want to show off. We want people to see how 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 big our sword is and how amazing our wings glow and how our mounts and and then we want to roam in an open free world and show off our skill and our equipment and but it has to be meaningful and it has to be exciting and new and all these things you know it's like discovering a new world but mobile games feel half-baked that's the first thing they feel half-baked like some mobile games look amazing but there's no fun in the gameplay because you just click as amazing as it looks it's just <sighs> It's really no investment in you. They, like, you don't feel a part of it, you know? And mobile games, most of the time, is more like a collect-a-thon, where you just collect stuff. You collect characters, and you collect waifus, and you collect, you know? If it's not like that, then you got the, the other type, which is just grow these plants. Wait this amount of time. And, you know, the one that really blew up was, like, Happy Bird. Happy Bird really, really blew up. And then there was Flappy Bird. Something about birds and mobile games, really. You know, and people really got invested in, I guess it's the colors, you know. The colors, they, and the sounds, just like babies, you know. The colors and the sounds, wow. It, it, the frazzle dazzles us. <laughs> It frazzle dazzles us and, and and everybody was really into Candy Crush Which really reminded me of Dr. Mario back in the past you know and And everybody got into all these games and they really blew up, but what now what now what you know? It, it, what does it mean? Where are your achievements in this? What did anything about that actually mean? 
It's not like a tangible adventure that you go on a full MMORPG, or it's not like a like if you play a, a Fallout game, you have this amazing storyline, and and then you 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 are impacting, you actually impact the world, your decisions affect, and you feel like you went through this whole experience, or you, taking it even further, you play Skyrim. You know, or even further than that, you play Skyrim VR, and you feel like you're actually in this immersive world, walking around, going to these devastating, terrifying places, and fighting skeletons and dragons, and you feel invested in that, you know? <laughs> you really, really feel. And then, so the... Mobile games, you can't get immersed in mobile games. I, I just can't do it. It's a little tiny screen, as much graphics as you put. Just clicking around on the screen, I have no remote. You know, everything, the, the, I don't have the actual game. Like, look at the situation that happened with Fortnite and Apple. You know, they couldn't, people couldn't play their Fortnite. Use their account in Apple devices. You spend so much money. You spend so much money on a game. On a device, more likely. You spend this, this amount of money on a device. And then you can't even do what you want to do on that device. Because the programs on the device, the apps, the system... The, the 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 mechanics of it you only own the actual device but you don't own anything digital in it i don't even think you own your photos you take <laughs> it just goes to the cloud and <laughs> is the cloud yours where are your photos you know they're on some server in some random place the point is like that's messed up because that's another reason why you can't get invested in mobile games. And I really wish. And I really wish. You want you want me to like mobile games? You sell me an actual game. You sell me a game in a damn SD card. Where I could put on my phone. And it's a full on triple A game. With a story. With a world to explore. Amazing graphics. Amazing achievements. You know? Give me something that I could put, uh, switch phones and put it on my other phone and still be able to play it. You know? Something that I could truly say, this is mine. Look, I'm going to show you my data and my achievements. Did you fight this boss? Oh, I fought that boss. You know, everybody's talking about it. It's a big thing. You know, the biggest thing in mobile games, I think, is Pokemon Go. You know, and what do you do in Pokemon Go? You collect Pokemon. You collect Pokemon. I mean, you could battle. But what are people really doing? They're collecting Pokemon. That's what they're really doing. You know, it's a, it's like a, like back in the past, they used to sell sticker books. And you go to the store and you buy a, like, oh, it was a, like a card pack, but stickers were in it. And you complete the sticker books. So you could buy cards card packs and they might have repeated stickers so you trade those stickers with your friends to try to complete your sticker book and at the end where is that sticker book somewhere in some trash somewhere around the world but the point is that's probably one of the first loot boxes in the, ever in existence I was a kid like, I was like, what, probably 9, 10 years old, and they used to sell sticker books of Pokemon. Actually, Pokemon, The Simpsons. It was sticker books of The Simpsons, The Looney Tunes, and and other stuff, and, and Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters. And you used to collect the, the stickers, that the stickers come in a pack, and it was mystery. You don't know what you were going to get. But very interesting, officially the first loot boxes back then. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's crazy, like, mobile games have this bad tendency to include, on top of all the empty feeling that it has, it wants all your money. 
It wants all your money. Like, are you serious? Why am I even investing X amount of money in a game that's that I it's not mine. I don't own the game. It's not in my hand. Who the data is in their servers. I don't even own my own data. You know, and the problem with all these online games, uh, mobile games, is that you need internet. First thing, you need internet. I remember back in the day where not everybody had internet. Not everybody had a computer. You know, people were going crazy like, oh, now you got to fill up your applications and do everything in a computer. Like, everybody has a computer. And before that... Before even that, people used to complain about, oh, now you need a car to do everything. Because even before that, not everybody had a car. <laughs> you know? So there was a lot of people complaining about all that. You know? And, and what do we complain about now? We complain about all these microtransactions that they put in our games. They sell us a full-on game. The thing about mobile games... Is that most of them are free. But my god, their microtransactions could amount to... Like, I'd rather buy a $60 game than... Or a $70 game than... Than actually start falling into the mobile trap. Because you could spend thousands and thousands. You know, I probably... Probably the game I've spent the most money on in my life... Is Fortnite. Besides Fortnite, it's probably uh, Elder Scrolls Online. That's it. That's it. You know, and probably Fortnite, I have spent maybe, maybe two thousand dollars, maybe five. But still, some mobile games, some mobile games, you will spend that amount in a month. <laughs> you know, in a month, and that's that's crazy. That's crazy. You know, when you're getting this amount of money and you could not develop an actual <sighs> more significant story, gameplay mechanics, something that feels like something. And I don't even know why. I can't honestly tell you why people spend so much money in mobile games. I, I mean, you're, you're, you're working. You take your 30 minute or maybe an hour break. And you have nothing to do. So you sit on your phone and you play a game. What is making you spend so much money? Why? <laughs> Why do you spend money? Like, what? Oh man, I gotta wait an hour for this to happen. I could just buy it for $5. You know, and it's messed up because you only got an hour break, and they put an hour lock mechanic there. And then you feel like buying, but why do you keep doing over and over and over? You know, and then then what? At the end of the day, you know, so many mobile games came out and died. You know, possibly the only one that has sticked around thus far is Clash of Titans, and. You know, for anybody that doesn't play Clash of Titans, who cares? You know, the only, care, only people who cares are people who play the same game. That's who cares. But if there's so many people not playing the game, then what is even the point? And you know a lot of people look down. A lot of people look down on all this gaming. They look, especially if you're spending thousands of dollars on some nonsense. You're not, you're not gaining any actual skills. You're not actually achieving anything with your time. You're not getting abs. You're not getting abs as you play games. You're not uh, achieving your diploma as you play games. You're not, you know, you're not getting your doctorate, your engineer, that nothing. You know, you're not even getting your flu shot. You're, <laughs> you're just, you know, trying to have fun. For me, gaming is supposed to be fun. That's what gaming is for me. It's supposed to be fun. 
uh, spend my time and something that I would enjoy doing that I probably can't do in real life like run around in the wasteland with laser weapons or drop down in a glider to an island and go full on shootout in a battle royale you know things we like we're not gonna do these things in real life <laughs> You know, we play a horror game, we put a VR headset, we play a horror game, we go in the moment, we enjoy it, you know, it, you truly feel the experience, and you, you have fun, you have fun, you have emotions, you, if you play a really in-depth story game, you, you, you have all the emotions, you get excited, you cry, there's action moments, then you're emotionally devastated again. And you go through this whole roller coaster of emotions and then you end up loving this game even though you complain throughout the whole game of how hard it was. And how tedious the puzzles are. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you truly went through an experience. You know, and you came out the other side a changed person. <laughs> like, that's crazy. But you do, you know? And you have that experience in your life now. Yes, I played this game or experience. You know, the mobile games don't have that. Mobile games, I'm sorry, but mobile games are just pretty, pretty colors and, and, easy mechanics and and empty satisfaction you know <sighs> I remember Adult Swim games and uh, Adult Swim website and I used to play quite a few games actually I used to really like some game about um the hemp where you grow hemp plants all over the place and that was one of those games where you gotta like, okay, you put the seeds in the ground. Now you gotta wait 20 hours so you come back the next day. And I found it fun until I finished. Like I grew my last plant. I achieved everything I needed to achieve. And then I look back and I'm like, wow, that was a big waste of time. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I did it. You know, I can show nobody. Nobody knows anything I grew or did and there's no way for me to show you because that doesn't exist anymore like there's nothing I could do and if it does exist I can't like retrieve my data <laughs> from years ago it just means nothing it was just something I did at that time and that's it well that's how mobile games are you know and you know what's a crazy shame Genshin Impact when Genshin Impact, I know Genshin Impact is not a mobile game, but it's a gacha game, which is very damn similar to a mobile game. And when Genshin Impact first came out, I thought it was gonna be like a, like a ripoff of Legend of Zelda, of Link, and 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 I was ready to get really invested in it. You know, I like the graphics, I like the world they created, the design of the monsters, the 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 very cartoony cell shaded slash cutesy. I was ready to go all in. And then I noticed that wait a minute, this is not like Zelda. And it's not even an MMO because I was also hoping that it might have been an MMO where you could just play with in an open world with a bunch of people and I thought that was gonna be amazing this is gonna be the MMO of the century I'm gonna get all invested in it and I'm gonna live here and I'm gonna stay, you know and when you are an MMO player you know you're gonna invest money in it especially if you like it you're like I'm ready where's my stacks of money <laughs> You know, but then it, it turned out to be like a, a world where you're wandering around and you could play like with one or two friends. And you know, there's a lot of gotcha mechanics in it, and you gotta do things with 10 different types of currencies, and oh, and, and forget it. My heart was broken. 
I was so ready to get invested. It looked amazing. But the crazy thing is Genshin Impact has been a success. It has made millions of dollars. It it's it and I'm like, why? Why? We shouldn't reward these things and but that's a society we live in, you know? I don't think we should reward these predatory practices. I don't think we should reward these things. I think we should really reward all uh, hard work, you know, like people that really show the love of their creation through their game. And there's not a lot of games that I could say that, you know, and I do play a lot of Fortnite, but I gotta say Fortnite is Fortnite is probably one of the games that I do play that they don't show a lot of heart in it and they kind of just want your money with the least effort possible. It's not until the this recent year and a half. No, actually it's, it's, it's possibly these last two years that Fortnite really decided to evolve and it's just because they're making money and they figured let's make more money so they've really been stepping up the game and I could appreciate that it makes me want to invest more time and money in it but you can't have that from from these mobile games you know and to be honest Genshin Impact really does look amazing but yeah, I can't, it takes too much time and investment unless you spend. And I just can't, I just can't. And I don't think these companies should be rewarded. They should be uh, made to do better. And the way you make them do better is by not giving them your hard earned money, you know? But what can you do? Oh, a game that uh, I, I just remembered. A game that possibly does, uh, they do a lot of hard work in it. It's uh, Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight is a game that, it, it's a horror game that is also online. And they dedicated so much of their time to make this game successful. Because so many games like this died. Like the Jason one and a couple of other games that were going to come out that were very similar. Even Resident Evil tried to do a game similar to that. And they all failed. But Dead by Daylight push forward. They push forward, push forward. And you could see the difference between how they began and now. The effort and the heart they put in it. You know? They've really taken the game far and they have risen it. Also, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is a game that started as an empty, disappointing shell. And then, if you play No Man's Sky right now, it's a completely different game. Completely worth playing. I would say that No Man's Sky now is everything I promise, everything I promise it was going to be. It is now. He even has VR. Like, so that's the thing, you know. Us OG gamers cannot get invested into mobile games because they feel empty, meaningless, wasted time that you just want to sit in the toilet and play for five minutes. I'm not trying to spend my money on that. So stop supporting these games, guys. For real. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.